Hello and welcome to 85 Aquatics. Today I'd like to uh, highlight my Rattlecentris ornatus. These are from Carlin Creek and Tiwa Creek. Um, I got them from Marcel, who collected their parents or the generation before, perhaps, from the wild. Um, so these were bred in his fish room um, in Madison, Wisconsin. And um, just thought I'd take a little video of them. They're in a 22-gallon aquarium uh, on my kitchen counter right now. And um, the filtration I'm just running is a aqua clear hang on the back. And I've got an air stone in there and a lot of plants. And there are some other species in there. There are some little baby gold laser quarries, some Sewellia lineata, hill stream loaches, and they've been spawning in there. So there's a couple of babies. Most of them, of course, get, I'm sure, eaten. And there are three um, green fire tetras in there. So at some point, I am going to set up a couple of other tanks for these guys and separate them back out and give them their own tanks and try to breed some of these as a little breeding project. So I just thought I'd uh, showcase them for now a little bit because they're very pretty. When I first got them, they were a little bit shy. But once they settle in, uh, they are not shy anymore. As soon as I'm in the kitchen, they are right there, all eyeballs on me, looking to see if I'm reaching for the food. Like most rainbow fish, of course, if there's anybody who keeps rainbows can attest to. Um, they're not shy once they get used to you and uh, know where the food comes from. So, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the footage of these very pretty fish from Australia. And uh, hopefully, if you uh, are interested, you can get your hands on some of these. Just check uh, Aquabid. I think uh, maybe Dan's Fish might have some. But I think if you could probably Google it, you'd be able to find maybe some other sources. But they are, they only get, oh, just another little aside before I sign off here. They don't get really huge. I think the biggest ones in there are, I think I've got a couple of males from Carlin Creek are the two biggest ones in there. And they might be, I don't know, they're between three and four inches. So they don't get absolutely huge. And they're sort of like a slender bodied fish, as you can see. So they don't uh, also get a very, they're not really big from top to bottom. So anyhow, that's it for now. Enjoy the footage, and thanks for stopping by.